In this class, we are going to learn how to invoke any external REST web services within our integration flow with the help of connections with invoke role enabled. In our previous class, we had seen how to build this demo expose REST service trigger integration in which we had demonstrated how we can expose our integration over a REST endpoint or a REST protocol. We are going to make use of the same use case that is in the input user will send the name and we will get the official country's name. So what we are going to do is we are going to make use of some external service over here in which we will pass the country's name and get back the official country's name. So we won't do with the help of the mapper that is with the help of hard coding like what we had done in our previous class. In order to achieve the use case what I will do is I will make use of this rest countries rest API which is available on the web for free. So if you just scroll down we are having couple of endpoints over here that is ending with all and ending with name. So there is this path parameter wherein we can pass the name. So we are going to make use of this API for this use case wherein we will pass the name of the country which we will get in the input from the user and we will pass to this web service and get the response back. So with this case we will demonstrate how we can create a connection with an invoke role, how we can invoke any external REST services within the integration flow and also we will see how we can dynamically map the things at runtime. I have created the SOAP UI project with couple of requests over here. One, I will make use of this in order to show it is retrieving all the country details. Suppose if I just run over here this service, it is returning the details for all the countries. Now, if we want based on the country in specific details, then what we can do is we can make use of this API that is slash name slash and the path parameter. In the path parameter, I am hard coding over here India, but at runtime we can make this dynamic using the path parameter. So here we will get only the details for India. If you see over here, we are having this official tag over here. We will fetch the Republic of India and map. So let's begin with our hands on. I will go to this integration instance. So before going ahead with building integration, we need to create a connection with the invoke role. Click on this create. Search for rest over here. In the name, I will provide the name as demo invoke rest con. In the role, I will select invoke so that the connection will be available to use within the integration flow that is between the starting and ending point that is in between those points. We can make use of this connection for invoking any APIs. Click on create. Now it's asking what is the connection type. I will give REST API base URL. I will provide the base URL of this API. So I will provide up to version 3.1. Copy this and paste it over here. In the security, I will make this as no security policy because this API is not secured. It is available for everyone without any authentication. So once done, click on this test. Tested successfully, click on save. Yeah, our status got changed to configured. Go back. So we have successfully created a connection with role as invoke and the type is rest. Now let's go to integration section and build our integration. Now, I am not going to build this integration from scratch, rather what we will do is I will clone this integration because our input and output structures are same for this use case like in our previous case. But I will rather rename this to invoke. Then click on clone. Now let me just click on this edit over here. Now, in our previous class, what we had done is we had directly made use of the mapper and hard coded the official country's name. We had assumed that user was always sending India and in the mapper we had hard coded to Republic of India. But in this case, we will make use of the web service. So, click on this plus over here. Once you click on plus, it will list all the connection details which are configured with the role as invoke. We are having only one connection in our instance with the role as invoke. Select this. Sorry, select this. Now provide the name. Now here I will name this as invoke get official name. Done in the endpoint URI what I will do is I will copy paste this path. While creating the connection we had provided the base URI. Now we need to provide this path, this path like slash. Sorry we need to provide from here. We had provided up to version 3.1. Copy this. Go to our integration and paste it over here. And the endpoint is of type get. This you can confirm from here. That is postman. We had a get over here. That's it. In the response, we have to configure the response because this endpoint is returning the response as you can see over here. Now click on next. It's asking, do you want to create the query parameter? No, we don't want to create. 
Now it's asking what is the response? The response is of type JSON sample. If you scroll down, there is a inline. Click on this hyperlink. Go to Postman. Click on this copy and paste it over here. Once done, click on OK. So there is this error over here. Now what I am going to do is, as we are interested in only official country's name, I will remove all other details, whatever is not needed in our case. I will remove from here, cost of the arms, I will remove. So those things we don't need. Now it should allow us to create this connection with the sample. Click on OK, click on Next and click on Done. Our rest countries web service invocation will be available over here post configuration. Let me just zoom out. Now whatever user has sent in, a, in the request that is the name of the country that we will map over here. Now click on the mapper editor. Expand the template parameter over here and expand the template parameter in our integration request. Now map our template parameter or the path parameter that is name in the request to the request of this web service. Click on validate. Done. Go back. So whatever name what we get from user for the country, we are mapping it to the rest countries API with the help of this invocation. Once we get the response, we will map in the integration response so that it can display in the response of the web service when the external consumer hits our integration endpoint. Now expand this wrapper. We already have the mapping over here because we had cloned this integration from our previous integration or from the previous class. Now we need to search for the response element over here that is over here invoke get official name response expand this expand the execute response expand this wrapper or the top level entity over here now we will check the sample over here so our official country name is under this name section so what we will do is we have to expand this name over here so we are having this official let's see our name comes under here or not yeah it's coming under official if we expand we don't have anything over here so what we need to do is we just remove external mapping and drag and drop it official over here. Now if you scroll up, if you see this is an array, what we will do is we will put the square bracket and one so that if we are getting multiple country details with this API, we will fetch only the first country's official name. So this won't be the case because we are providing the name and we are getting only one country's detail. Suppose if there are a couple of countries with same name, then in that case the first country's name we will get. So this is the XPath access, what it is called in XSLT or XPath terminologies. So you don't have to worry about that. Just drag this name and drop it over here. And if you can avoid totally putting this square bracket and one. So if you want to know what this stands for, it is XPath access. You can go to the XPath documentation and you can learn on your own. Now let me just validate. Validate the mapper. Let me go back. Save the integration. Now let's activate this integration and test whether this integration is working or not. Let me activate this integration with debug option. Let me refresh the status. It's activation in progress. Yeah, it's now active. Now let's test this integration. Keep on run. In the name that is in the path parameter, I will put India. Click on run. Yeah, in the response, we are getting the Republic of India. So let's see the audit stream. In the audit stream, this time we are not hard coding it in the mapper. Rather, what it is doing it, it is invoking the web service. So if we expand this, you will see what was the request sent and what was the response received. So if you click on this I button, so in the request to the web service, it has sent India. And in the response, what we got is so many things like what we had seen in the postman. Same thing is visible over here. So if you think that I am still getting this response from the mapper, I will just change the country name over here to Sweden and click on run. If you scroll down, I am getting the official name as Kingdom of Sweden. So in this class, we had seen a couple of things. One is how we can call any external REST APIs within our integration flow. 
Other thing is we had seen how we can create a connection with the invoke role and how we can use that connection within the integration flow that is between the starting and ending point of your integration. In our next class, we will learn how we can build a connection with both trigger and invoke role and consume that connection at a starting as well as in between the integration flow.